Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about how GLP-1 agonists like semaglutide fight inflammation in our bodies. GLP-1 agonists like semaglutide exert anti-inflammatory effects throughout many different mechanisms. And this has a very significant implication for our overall health, particularly in conditions characterized by chronic inflammation, such as obesity, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and even neurodegenerative diseases. In this podcast, we'll talk about how GLP-1 agonists produce their anti-inflammatory effects and the potential benefits associated with these actions. So how do GLP-1 agonists fight inflammation? The first thing I want to talk about is modulation of immune responses. So GLP-1 plays an important role in controlling the activity of immune cells involved in inflammation. It can actually dampen the response of our immune cells called macrophages, which are key players in the inflammatory process. By reducing the production of pro-inflammatory molecules and promoting the release of anti-inflammatory substances, GLP-1 helps to restore balance to the immune system. The next thing I want to talk about is inhibition of inflammatory pathways. Now, GLP-1 exerts its anti-inflammatory effects by interfering with various signaling pathways that actually drive inflammation. For example, it can block the activation of nuclear factor kappa B, or NFKB, which is a central regulator of inflammation that triggers the expression of pro-inflammatory genes. So by inhibiting this NFKB and other inflammatory pathways, GLP-1 helps suppress the production of inflammatory cytokines such as tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF-alpha, interleukin-6 or IL-6, and interleukin-1 beta or IL-1 beta. The next thing I want to talk about is the reduction of oxidative stress. So oxidative stress is simply just caused by an imbalance between the amount of free radicals and antioxidants that we have in our body. And this contributes to inflammation and essentially tissue damage. GLP-1 helps mitigate oxidative stress by enhancing antioxidant defenses and scavenging free radicals or kind of taking these free radicals up. By reducing oxidative damage, GLP-1 helps alleviate inflammation and protects cells from harm. So what are the potential benefits of GLP-1's anti-inflammatory effects? The first thing is improved metabolic health. So chronic inflammation is closely linked to metabolic disorders such as obesity, insulin resistance, and even type 2 diabetes. By combating inflammation, GLP-1 may improve metabolic health and help control blood sugar levels in individuals with diabetes. This can reduce the risk of complications associated with these conditions, such as cardiovascular disease or even kidney damage. The next thing I want to talk about is protection against cardiovascular disease. Now, inflammation plays a significant role in the development of cardiovascular diseases, such as atherosclerosis, heart attack, or even stroke. GLP-1's anti-inflammatory effects really help protect blood vessels and the heart from inflammation-induced damage, thus reducing the risk of cardiovascular events and improving overall health. The next thing I want to talk about is potential for neuroprotection. So inflammation in the brain is implicated in neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. GLP-1's ability to reduce neuroinflammation may have neuroprotective effects, which would preserve cognitive function and slowing the progression of these diseases. The last thing I want to talk about is alleviation of autoimmune conditions. Now, autoimmune diseases where the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissues are characterized by chronic inflammation. GLP-1's anti-inflammatory properties may help alleviate symptoms and reduce disease activity in conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, and even skin conditions like psoriasis. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. And if you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.